There was a man, both strong and proud, who never in his life allowed himself to serve a lesser king, but sought the one with shining rings of gold and armies at command. To this great king he pledged his hand to serve. Reprobus was his name, the Latin meaning damned to shame in hell where Satan's fires burn. But yet the man would not be turned from prideful course. He sat in hall, and heeded to his master's call to go wherever he was sent, and for a time he was content believing that he served the best, a greater king than all the rest. But one day as he sat to dine, a jest arose, for it was time for stories. Spinning words of lore, he told an ancient tale of war between the Lord of Heaven's host and serpent, quick and prideful boast for power. As the jester spoke, Reprobus saw his master choke and cross himself before the heart with every mention of a part of Satan's name. When asked the cause, the king replied, the devil's claws are long, and so to keep him back, I cross myself and dodge attack. Reprobus said, I see your fear, and know by it my time is near an end with you. I serve the best, and though for years I've been a guest within your hall, you are undone. This Satan's powers overrun your own. Now he will rule my sword as mighty king and rightful lord. Reprobus had not traveled long, when in the desert met a throng of men. Every face was dark, and not a few betrayed a mark of torture. All were cut and scarred. And at their head, a man who marred the earth itself. A step from him would cause the plants to wilt and dim the sun. Reprobus knew the band, had sought them out to pledge his hand and sword and service to their chief, the lord of hell who rules beneath the earth. Reprobus bent a knee and raised his sword and fealty to Satan. Demon lord agreed, for he will always have a need of souls to serve within his horde. And mortal man believed the lord he served could never face defeat. For years he sat upon the seat at Satan's side with joyous grin, although he served the lord of sin. Yet once they chanced from up ahead a cross, and Satan nearly fled the scene. He drove his men aside and led them in a circle wide around the sign. Repobus gazed, for as they passed he was amazed to see the devil groan and wince. The servant now was not convinced he served the greatest lord of all. He brought his doubts, both great and small, before his master, who replied, A man named Christ was charged and tried and stuck with nails to such a cross. And ever since, I'm forced to toss my head and stamp my feet in fear whenever I approach too near another. Seeing even one, I think on Christ and need to run. Reprobus knew that he had erred in thinking no one else compared to Satan. Drawing on his cloak, he faced the devil and he spoke these words. My time with you is done. I know that you are not the one I thought you were when first we met, a mighty lord and potent threat to every challenge in your way. But now I hear that still today this Christ can cause your heart to quake. I leave you now, and I will take my sword to him in heaven's hall. Let Christ arise and Satan fall. Taking counsel from a priest, Reprobus built the least of huts beside a raging stream. No simple brook. The river seemed to carry off the weakened limb. But not Reprobus, who could swim the length against the current's force. He ferried pilgrims who in course of travel came upon the shore, from his own bank across the roar of water to the other side. In this action took he pride that he was serving Christ above. And true enough he earned the love of God, for once it chanced at dawn he heard a shout, and he was drawn outside his home to see a youth, a boy who asked without reproof to journey forth to yonder shore. The man agreed to do the chore assigned. He took a sturdy staff and ventured out. He was not half the way across the river's length when suddenly it seemed his strength had left him. Swift the river rushed, and on his shoulders felt he crushed by child's weight. He massed as lead, and now the man was full in dread that he would drown. Yet on he went, and when it seemed his strength was spent in full, he gained the other side. Relieved, he gasped for air, then eyed the boy who brought him near his end, who said, Today your joy ascends on high, for I am who you seek. The one who made both strong and weak alike created all the world. For I am Christ. And then he twirled about and vanished to his throne, leaving mortal man alone. Attend, my lords, the end draws near. And if it seems the words you hear within my song are known to you, as if the painting that I drew in verse could fit another tale, it is because I yet have failed to say our hero's other name. Reprobus now is known to fame as Christopher, the holy saint. 
If such as he, full blind by taint of pride, could turn his eyes from sin and see that power lies within the one on heaven's lofty throne, and not that other lying prone in fiery depths condemned to hell, then you and I, who never fell to equal depths for worldly gain, can entry win and leave obtained to sit beside him. Hope endures that his reward shall be as yours.